I guess maybe sort of start this way, that each of you guys sort of did what was needed in the moment. So I'm just curious, Tyler, if maybe you can talk about how important BAM's uh, relief points in the lane were and rebounds, and Bam, if you could talk about how important Tyler's three-point shooting and playmaking was, sort of talk about each other. Yeah, uh, I think, you know, anytime, you know, the game gets crazy and uh, they go on a run, we find the ball, you know, in Bam's hands. And um, honestly, he's just our settle guy. We get him the ball and we know he's going to make the right play or find um, you know, a, a hole in the defense to, to find a shot for himself. And, you know, to have a guy like that on the team is um, just obviously tremendous. Um, it's huge for us. And, uh, you know, we're lucky to have someone like him where we can throw him the ball and he can really settle us and, you know, make sure we're right in our spots. Uh, I would say it's a luxury to have a guy who can, you know, do both. Uh, as talented as he and talented as he is to go score, uh, but also being able to <clears throat> get us in the offense, get guys in uh, open space, get guys open shots, and being able to read the game down the stretch. I feel like, it, you know, it, we complement each other. Can you get talk about narratives in the playoffs? You've been through five years of this, and it seems like a time the sky always can be falling. From both of you, what was the last two days like, and how satisfying is it now going back home 1-1 one, one in this series? Uh, I mean, just preparation for um, tonight. The last two days were a lot of, you know, watching film, um, talking to the coaches, talking amongst ourselves as teammates of, you know, what we have to do tonight. It was a very intentional last two, three nights or days. And um, ultimately, it was obviously set us, set us up for success. Here, Tyler, just talking a little bit about kind of your transition from game one to game two. There's a little bit of struggle there in game one, but suppose that we need to activate Tyler, freeing him open. Do you feel like that's kind of what happened tonight? And can you talk a little bit about the playmaking that kind of worked well for you tonight? Uh, yeah, I mean, just trying to make the right play. Um, read the game, read the context of the game, and just make the right play. Honestly, the game is easy. We, try, we make it hard a lot of, the, a lot of times, and um, when they're playing a certain way, we just have to – you know, counter, adjust, and make the right play. Bam, similar to those two, I suppose big message coming in, it felt like was you can't be fearful going up against a team like this. Um, you go down 30 in the fourth in that game one. How do you maintain that level of belief between games one and two? And what does a win like this kind of do for the level of belief that, you know, you could pull off something here? Uh, uh, for us, we've been, we've been doubted a lot through our playoff runs. Um, you know, as people saying, we we couldn't we couldn't do a lot of stuff that we did. Um, so for me and my team, it's like, why well, lose belief now? Um, backs against the wall, everybody always against us. Use it as fuel. Um, you know, a lot of people seem to think we're gonna buy into what they say of we can't get it done and make it seem into our locker room and. It's different. Our guys believe that we can win. You know, we get in between those lines. We make it about basketball. We don't make it about schemes. We don't make it about this guy and that guy. We make it about mano y mano getting that cage fight. And let's let's hoop. Tyler, the big plan coming in, it felt like was to get up more threes. Um, just how did you generate that many? You know, coming off game one and the quality of the looks too that you guys were able to get. Yeah. Um, I, honestly, I thought we generated the same looks in the first game. Just guys. Um, including myself, weren't taking them. And, you know, the talk amongst the team was to just be aggressive, take the open shots. If they give it to us, you know, don't hesitate, let it go. Hey, Bam, um, did you get a chance to hear our Przingis' comments after game one about not really caring about his matchup against you and, and that nature? Uh, nah, uh, I'm not on social media, uh, so I don't hear that noise. Um, <clears throat> it is what it is. Uh, he can say what he wants. We're just going to go out there in between those lines, handle business. 